So in this part, we will uh, kind of see what DAX is all about. Uh, and DAX is uh, a language that we use for calculations, uh, for querying, after the data has been loaded in a data model uh, or in a data analysis environment like Power BI. So while mQuery, uh, which uh, you saw previously, is used before you load the data to make uh, data transformations or uh, just data manipulation in general, DAX is used after you load the data. So we can use DAX here. We can actually uh, use it uh, kind of like a SQL uh, to see. Oh, we have some kind of error here. Um, oh, this evaluate. Yeah, so we can use it kind of like a SQL here. We get similar results to query it. We're not going to do that now, uh, but we're going to make a new measure. So a new measure is a calculation that returns a single value. Uh, and we're going to make one right now. So if you go into the uh, report view and click new measure, you'll get this uh, little pop up here. And you can just write this code that I've uh, written here. And you click the commit. So here we're uh, making a calculation we're using financials this is the data that we've loaded and we're uh, uh, making uh, taking the unit sold and we're taking making a sum of that so if we click here you can see that uh, total unit sold the way that we named it popped here uh, and this will be the value that we have calculated here so you can see these symbols here uh, on your data so the sigma sign means that that is a numeric value the date, uh, the uh, small little calendar here, means that it is a date value. Uh, and the little cal calculator here means that we use some sort of aggregation, So, and we calculated it most likely using DAX. So uh, the good thing about these kind of calculations here is that they're very dynamic. If you change the data, you change, uh, you put some filters on it uh, or whatnot, it will dynamically adapt and adjust. That's why it is very, very good, which we will see when, we're, when we are building the reports a little bit later. But now we will go to actually table view because I want to show you something else. Uh, in table view, <clears throat> uh, we'll go there and we will create a new table in home and you click new table. So after you click new table, uh, you will get here uh, this uh, place where you can write some DAX code as well. Uh, you can just uh, copy this code right here. It will create a calendar for the given time period. And if we click commit, we, you can see that we have this small calendar right here. Uh, we will use it later on, but uh, it, it is considered a best practice if you keep your dates separately. So we're going to go ahead and connect it to our actual dates now. So we establish a relationship. So if you go here to model view, you will see uh, the two tables. We have our financial table and our calendar table. And we will drag and drop the date like this. Uh, here we can review it, but it's all fine for the purposes that we want. And we will uh, uh, make a relation between these two. Uh, so that is what you use DAX for. Uh, you, the most important thing is to remember M queries are before you load the data. DAX is after you load the data. They're both data manipulation. Well, uh, DAX is more of calculation. Uh, you still use data. Uh, 